checks off balance. There you go. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to another episode of Sweat with JD. It's good to have you all here. All right. Um, look, we're going to get into a strength circuit for today, and we're going to be covering three moves. So we have uh, our goblet squat. We're going to work push-ups, and we're going to work on a half-kneeling push-out press. So we have our, a lot of push today um, with a little anti-rotation. So we're going to have some fun. We're just going to keep it simple by the book, and let's rock this out. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to modify and listen to my cues. Um, but pretty much everything from here is is fairly basic. We we got Missy the Pooh in the house right now. Yeah, she's just hanging out, enjoying the sun. Good girl. Um, I just want to give a shout out to my sponsor at NOCO, Roan and uh, Sneak Easy. Thank you for providing me with my apparel. NOCO with the No Carbs Company drink. This has BCAAs in it. Shout out to all y'all. All right. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty here. So for in terms of equipment, what I have, I've got two different sets of dumbbells. I have a heavier set that we'll use for the goblet squat, and I have a lighter set which we'll use for the push out press, okay? Now in the meantime though, it's important to get a good warm, warm up in, so let's do a little bit of mobility just to act as our movement prep for today. So how we're gonna start, we're gonna start off working a uh, bootstrap stretch. All right. So what I'd like you to have yourself doing is have your feet shoulders width. We're going to get our Apple watch started because you know, if you don't start it, it don't count. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll down and I'm going to have my feet a little bit wider than shoulders width, toes slightly turned out. So I'm going to roll down. I'm going to squat and sit into my squat as low as I can. Elbows in towards the inner thighs. We're going to reach our arms directly above our head we're gonna stand up from there. Now, if that is too much, all you're going to do is just do a simple roll down and roll up to stand, okay? Here we go. I'm starting that timer. We're just gonna do maybe like three to five minutes of just some movement prep just to get us formed up. Let's go. So one minute here, rolling down, we're squatting. We're gonna reach the arms as high as we can above our head and stand up as tall as we can. So even if you look at me from the side, okay? Notice, yes, we roll down. We have our toe touch established. We're squatting down. We're going to try and sit our tailbone back as much as we can. Then from there, reach your arms past your head. You stand up. And listen, maybe you fall out of it like that, but you make it as elegant as possible. All right? That was a good save. So again, roll down. Squat down. Reach your arms. Stand tall. Again, roll down. Squat down. Reach your arms. Stand tall. Now with the arms, one of the hardest things to do, keep yourself moving, is to reach your arms over your head. So I challenge you to pull your shoulders away from your ears. Let's try this one more time together as a crew. Reach the arms past your ears. Stand up tall. Yes. Let's just go to a march. So we're just going to march. Where we're marching, we don't know. <laughs> we're marching to Sweatville. That's for sure. Now, what we're going to do is do a little bit of a hip opener. So we're going to balance on one leg. You ready? Pick either leg. Three, two, one. Balance on that one leg. I chose my leg that I'm that is not as strong as my other leg. Okay. I do that so that I can have an understanding of where I'm at and I can use my opposite side to work as just as hard, not more. Now, from here, while we're stabilizing, I'm going to focus on straightening down through my supporting leg, pulling my rib cage in. We're going to open up our hip up to the side and bring it back in. So we got a nice hip opener right here. And at the same time, I'm screwing my bottom leg down, letting that wrap around and come back to center. Again, opening up our hips is going to help set us up for a successful goblet squat today. All right, put that leg down, switch over to the opposite leg. We're already screwing the bottom leg down through the floor, straightening that knee. We're opening our hip up and closing. So again, I'm not relaxing my butt. I'm actually squeezing my glute right now. And in this supported position, I can guarantee I ain't moving anywhere, right? I could do a dance move, right? Flip it, reverse it, all that jazz. Yes, good. Shake that out. Let's just take our arms just for a second here. What we're gonna do, soft bend in the knees, feet right underneath us. I'm gonna send my tailbone back. I'm gonna take my hands out in front of me. I'm gonna reach them up 
to a Y position. All right, so we're going to do three positions here. We have Y, we have T, we have, we can call this A or, uh, yeah, we'll call it A, Y, T, A. Yata, Y, T, A. And at the same time here, I'm pulling my rib cage in, I'm squeezing my butt, and as everything is moving here, it's not about like how fast you can go, I'm aiming to feel my shoulder blades squeeze together. It's gonna help create a little extra tension in our back, a little more awareness, so that when we're lifting the weights up and down, right, when we're pushing through the floor, when we're working push-ups later, we feel supported, feel taken care of. That's what's important right here and right now. All right, good, shake it out. Let's head to a jack in three, two, one. Jack it up, let's get it. If you have to modify, step and jack, right? Still getting the heart rate up. Yeah, let's go. Come on. So, yeah, I'm rocking the glasses today. My contacts haven't come in yet. I'm looking like Volma from Scooby-Doo. Missy can be Scooby-Doo. Scooby-D. I don't know. <laughs> She's Missy Poo regardless. All right, stay light on the feet. We're going butt kickers. Three, two, one, go. Kick your butt. If you have to, step and kick. Okay? I want you to just try. Okay, go for the body weight squat. Plant your feet, shoulders width, toes slightly turned out, sit your tailbone back, stand up tall. Okay, so even from the side here, again, I'm trying to focus on how I'm sending my tailbone back. I drive through the floor and I stand up as tall as I can. Try your best with your knees. Think about there being a ball, like a yoga ball in between your knees here. Create space as you go down, push through the floor as you stand up tall. Let your heels drive through the floor toes included. So if you hear the term push through with your heels, sometimes I see the toes lifting off the ground. Well, when we stand up, we don't necessarily do that, right? Just in general, in life in general. So that's how I'm thinking of this when we're going through this. Three, two, and one. Good. Rest. Grab some water if you need it or some NOCO. <laughs> you know, I'm actually going to do a giveaway very soon. Uh, not today, but... Um, when that time comes, I'll do a giveaway and I'll give away a free case. How does that sound? That sounds pretty good, right? Oh, that's good. This one's a pineapple. I like pineapple. Anybody like pineapple on their pizza? No, I'm the only one. Okay, good to know. <laughs> so goblet squat position. I'm just going to show with the lighter weight what I'm expecting from all of us here. So I am going to hold on to the top part of the dumbbell like so. Let my hands rest or my fingers rest on top. I'm gonna bring it up towards my chest. So it's literally in this fixed position up by my chest. The reason being is so that, let's just say you're, you're loading up with two arms or one arm and this is just a way to progress building up to two dumbbells. Okay, so getting you used to holding on to weight up by your chest. Let's go into our goblet squat in four, three, two, one, we're going for 40 seconds, let's go. So lower down, stand up tall. Lower down, stand up tall. Now initially, we're not trying to go as fast as we can. We're trying to build up to it. Now, even as I go down, I'm seeing that my body naturally wants to push the weight out and act as, use this as a counterbalance. That's normal, that's okay. And even at the bottom of your squat, careful of your knees, trying to buckle in. Sometimes my knees like to wobble, hey, it happens but we use our inner thighs to wrap around. We use our glutes to help stabilize us as we stand tall. Rest, good. One down, three to go. We're resting, not doing anything. I'm going to, this is so cute right here. I see, you see this little cinnamon bun right here? She's so cute. I can't get enough of her. I can't, she's just perfect in every way. Here we go, I'm picking up my heavier dumbbell. Goblet squatting it out. We're going heavy in three. Two, one, let's get it. So with the heavier weight, I'm making sure, look, I could literally sit down here with this weight, but I need to make sure like we did in the bootstrap stretch, keeping my chest, my shoulders lifted as much as possible. So although we're working just three moves in our circuit for today, it is important that we execute each move safely and correctly. I like that, safely 
and correctly. Pull your shoulders down. Three, two, one. Put the dumbbell down safely. Okay. Heart rate's going up. <laughs> We're breathing heavy. If there was like a scale of one to 10, 10 being breathless on how you should be feeling, I'm in that six to seven range right now. So finding it a little difficult to carry a conversation just a little bit. Rack them up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Sit down, stand up. Sit down, stand up. I'm really thinking about how I'm spreading my butt cheeks as I go down. I'm gonna squeeze my butt cheeks together and straighten my knees up at the top. Again, lowering down, stand tall. Lowering down, stand tall. Come on, we got a couple more reps in us. Three, oh no, not yet, not yet, 10 seconds. I got excited. Three, two, one. Put the dumbbell down carefully. Woo! Tough, tough. We have one more set. One more set. Okay. So how we're doing this, we can call this, uh, what do you call it? Horizontal loading, I think that's the term, right, Missy? Yeah, where we have our workout, we have the body of the workout, and we're basically taking one thing, and we're just going across, and we're just checking each box before we move on to the next one, all right? I took a little too much time before, but I needed this. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Last set of the goblet squats. Stand as tall as you can. Keep your chest lifted. Try not to drop the chest. Like if you are squatting in front of a wall and your face is facing the wall, I'm not going to let my face hit the wall. No. That'd be a face plant into the wall. We don't want that. You got 15 seconds. Stay with it. 10. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Put that down. <laughs> Great work, everyone. Okay, now we're going to dive into the push up. Now, the push up can be done, or more specifically, the tricep push up. Tricep push up is done where we're in a high plank and the elbows shave the rib cage as we lower down and press up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a modification. All right, we're going to call this our four-part push-up. It's one of my favorite things my uh, fiance, soon-to-be wife, showed me, and I just, I just love this. All right, we take the push-up, something we desire hitting. Even though we hate push-ups, we go for it. All right, we'll start in 20 seconds, but I want it to look like this. We're going to be in a high plank position, knees, feet, thighs together. We're going to bend our elbows, bend our knees, straighten the elbows, straighten the knees. We're gonna just try, let's just do it for 30 seconds and we'll rest for 30. So we're gonna run through this four times. You ready? Three, two, one. Here we go, fam. Bend your elbows, bend your knees. Strain your elbows, strain your knees. Let me adjust my mic really quick. There we go. Bend your elbows, bend your elbows, strain your knees. Bend your elbows, bend your knees. Strain your elbows, strain your knees. Keep going. If you're at this point where you're like, I can't get down all the way, use an elevated surface to put your hands on too, okay? You can start with a wall and just start by bending the elbows, okay? You can work your way down until you're at that point. Three, two, one, rest, recover. All right, 20 seconds here. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff, right, Missy? That's right. She's looking at me like, Dad, come on. Bend your elbows, bend your knees, straighten your elbows, straighten your knees. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. She's the best. Bend the elbows, bend the knees, straighten the elbows, straighten the knees. <sighs> Make sure that your elbows are shaving your rib cage as you lower down <sighs> and then press up. Keep going. Now, as your hips come with, let your hips come with you. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, not how it needs to be done, right? Right, we don't want that butt, no. We want the butt to have, we want the butt to follow with us. 
as we lower and lift. Three, five, four, three, two, one. You're adorable. I love you. <laughs> oh, she's the best. Belly rubs for the next 10 seconds. Belly rubs all the way, yeah. All right, I can't remember what set that is. I think that's the second set that we've done. So we're on to our third set in three, two, one. Here we go. Bend the elbows, bend the knees, straighten the elbows, straighten the knees, bend, bend, straighten, straighten, bend, bend, straighten, straighten, bend, bend, straighten, straighten. Keep yourself going. I feel like I got in a good amount where I'm not gonna max myself out, right? So if you have to, hold the high plank, right? We got about 15 more seconds. When you start to get back the strength that you need, Go back into it, bend, bend, straighten, straighten, bend, bend, straighten, straighten. Three, two, one, rest. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Woo, okay. We have one more set of push-ups. We're looking good. We are looking really good. <laughs> Here we go, three, two, one. Hit those push-ups, let's go team. Bend, bend, straighten, straighten, bend, bend, straighten, straighten, bend, bend, straighten, straighten. Ah, ah. Mm, mm. We're almost there. Woo, come on. Look, those moments that you need to come down, fight it right here. Final 10, let's go. Bend, bend. Straighten, straighten, bend, bend, straighten, straighten. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay. We're going to take, oh, not yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Keep sunbathing, baby. You are all good. Yes. You just, you just, yeah. Oh. She's like, Dad, don't take me out of the sun. You got it. I got you right there. <laughs> Okay, so we have one more thing. Yeah, yes. We have one more thing. We're gonna do a half kneeling, anti-rotation push out press. So really just, we're gonna be in a half kneeling position. We're gonna push the weight out away from us. We're gonna bring it back in. Now when you're doing this, use a weight that you feel very comfortable holding on to. This is a tough thing to do, especially when done right. So let's grab a quick sip of water. Ornoco. Oh my gosh, yes. We'll dive into the next thing. So, so far, we've had our squat. We've had a high plank position with a push. Okay, and then we're gonna do our anti-rotation. Watch me first as I do this. So, first let me show you the half kneeling position. Okay, I'm all about the right angles here. So from the very, very side view, it looks like this. What I'm gonna do, rather than stick my butt back, I want your butt tucking up and forward. So from here, we're gonna pull our rib cage in, we're gonna hold the weight in that goblet position. But instead of the goblet position, we're gonna hold it by the heads of the weight. Okay, now, time to start. I'd say give yourself about 30 seconds, okay? I'm gonna just take a second. <laughs> that ever happened to you from my glasses wearers out there? No, no, I'm the only one. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. We're gonna get set. 15 seconds. Get yourself set up. Get your pets in on the pups, your cat, whatever. Half kneeling position. I'm gonna start facing this way. Okay, I'm gonna let the back foot untuck the toes. I'm gonna pull the weight up, so I'm holding the weight like this, all right, in front of my chest, 40 seconds, let's go. Press out, press in. Now that I realize it, we ended up doing the push-up progression for 40 seconds, not 30 seconds. Oh no, we got an extra credit, there we go. So look, you're tucking your pelvis up, I'm pulling my rib cage in, packing my shoulders down, I'm letting everything go out and everything come back in. So it's about how upright you can be as you press the weight out in front of you, okay? 10 more seconds. 
four, three, two, one. Good. Rest, recover. How'd that feel? Okay. Yes, of course. If you held the weight out there and just held, that is very difficult to do. Okay. I'd imagine that that would be acting as a progression. So what we've done, we're working in the regress version. Other side, everybody in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Full extension out. Come back in. So notice I'm not trying to lean out with it, right? I'm trying to keep everything engaged. I'm actually squeezing my butt. No, you can't see it. But I'm squeezing my butt right now, my back leg, to help support this position. And I'm actually squeezing down and pushing down through the front foot as well. 20 seconds. Again, press out. Make sure that your shoulder blades do not uh, protract too much. So they can... In a way, what protraction means is your shoulder blades separating, creating space. Retract your shoulders back. Squeeze them together as the arms fully extend out and in. Rest. Woo! Okay. Okay. That was good. That was good. So by highlighting a couple areas, right? Shoulder blades, glutes, squeezing, corkscrewing down through the floor. I feel like we're set up for success here. Let's run through it again one more time in five, four, three, two, one, tuck the pelvis, retract your shoulder blades back and down, pull your rib cage in, extend the weight out, bring it back in, lengthen out. So I'm trying not to let anything else move right now as I go out and in, in this half kneeling position. Whoo, we're getting sweaty in our bedroom. Getting our workout on. We're pushing and pressing the word out. Missy, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's looking at me like the song has got to go. Rest. All right. Well, you know I'm working on my lyrics, all right? We'll get there. <laughs> 10 seconds <laughs> before we go over to the other side. This is our final thing of our circuit, okay? And we're done for today. You ready? Three, two, one. Rack it up. Let's go. Full extension out of the arms. Pull it in. Retract your shoulder blades back. Pull the rib cage in. Tuck the pelvis. Squeeze the butt. Corkscrew down to the floor. Ugh. Twin away. The goblet squat was helping us earlier. The push-up position as well. And now, by us going to this half kneeling position, whoo, I feel the core. I feel everything working together to stabilize right now as we have this half kneeling position working. 10 seconds. Come on. Keep the elbows coming in. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Time. Finito. Dunzo. Gonzo. Woo. Great job, everybody. Let's cool it down. Hey, Missy. Poos. You good? All right, she's resting. <laughs> Let's cool it down, everybody. Just shake it out for a second. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. What I'd like you to do, let's stretch out the front of our thighs here. So I'm going to hold on to my wall. I'm going to grab onto the top part of my foot. I'm going to bring my knee down so it's pointing straight down towards the floor. I'm going to think about how I'm pushing into my hand and pulling back at the same time. Good. When you're ready, let that go. We're going to let the leg swing forward. We're going to push the heel down, flex the foot. Let's send our tailbone back. And again, you can still hold on to that wall. And again, I feel a nice stretch within my calf, my hamstring, even in my hip too. Good. Switch. Let's go over to the other side. Turn around. Turn around. Every now and then I'll stretch my quad with my YouTube community. Turn around. Keep it going. Point the knee down towards the floor. Rib cage is pulled in. Woo. Let that go. Flex the foot. Keep holding onto the wall. You're hinging at the hips. I feel that nice stretch. Remember, you don't want to overstretch. You want to feel just enough tension here. When we let that go, we don't feel like we overstretched or did overdid something, right? Everyone, just take your arms, just shake them out for a second. Bring a nice inhale up to the sky. Interlace your hands high at the top. Oh, lengthen up. We're going to drop the right arm. Overhead stretch to the side. 
Switch over to the other side, overhead stretch to the opposite side. <sighs> Reaching up with both arms, pull them back to a W. Ah, push that away, shake it all out. Listen, my name is JD. Thank you for sweating with me. I appreciate you for my people tuning in live. For those that are tuning in on demand, if you have any questions at all, hit the comments, ask me anything, okay? I'm here as your resource. I'm just providing workouts, 30 minute workouts right now uh, with strength, with boxing, with mobility that are just going to help get you, get you moving, all right? Get you sweating. We work from the ground up to build something amazing, all right? Peace out, everybody.